Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Celeb Talk. Today I have with me Sangeeta Bijlani, former Miss India 1980, uh, an actress, a model and currently a passionate meditation and yoga practitioner. Hearty welcome to you Sangeeta. Thank you so much. I'm glad to have you on our show. Pleasure. Alright, so to start off, your fondest memories of Bangalore? My fondest memories of Bangalore are so many. I used to come here during my modeling days on lots of assignments and each time I came here my mum would say pick me up Kanjivaram sari or pick me one of those beautiful Nalli silk saris and I used to keep picking up those saris and I have a lot of them now I have that collection because my mum has passed it on to me so I have all those beautiful saris with me that was one part and I used to come here very often in my holidays because my uncle used to live near the golf links so we had a beautiful home there and we saw all come and spend a lot of time over here and I met, made a lot of friends over here. That's when I met uh, Mimi over here who, oh. uh, who owns this beautiful place. And uh, then we used to go uh, to this place called uh, Airlines where we used to have those massive dosas and I used to love having them. They were like so big that the table used to be filled yes. and my brother and me, we all used to just grab into it and dig into it. And the other was this, this cone shaped this pyramid like dosa so I remember very fondly my parents and we used to all go there and we used to love eating that over there uh, then uh, we used to go driving to Nandi Hills very often I loved doing that because it was so beautiful my friends used to also come with me and we used to all go there eat there drive there walk trek fabulous memory I have is of the Hooknickel Falls oh you've been there yes it was <laughs> awesome I mean oh my god that was that was some experience I really had a blast it was a li little scary in, at, at first but then it was so enjoyable and the best memories I have of me being here for a very long span was uh, when I shot this film, a bilingual film with Vishnu Vardhanji. Vishnu Dada ne bere, aun style bere. Naan hai dono shawl saathya. Adra pagi, nii nii uchne maad bada. Naan heel kurti ni. Nii heel kurti ra. Nii heel kutre na dhanu shago khedi. That was a beautiful experience. We did it in Hindi and Kannada. So in Kannada so it's called... So we police dada, dada and in Hindi it was Inspector Dhanush. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes. Quite a few memories you have of Bangalore. Quite a few. <laughs> and, and now I'm here again. <laughs> right, like just before we started, she was saying I'm here when the showers are, you know, there are uh, heavy rain showers. And she's here like, you know, her friend was saying apparently, she, the Bijli is here. <laughs> so, <laughs> good one. So you're here basically to, uh, you know, uh, as part of a program uh, with Sri Krishna a meditation center. Yoga wellness center. center, yes, yes. So uh, there's a program called uh, Walkathon. Walkathon, a 5K yeah. Walkathon. It is uh, also affiliated to the year. Uh, basically, they are also uh, the Ashwini Charitable Trust. They have students from there. So she is going to empower the students from there and, and giving them a teacher's training course, which is a 500 hour teacher training course, which is uh, the most authentic teacher's training course, they say. And though I haven't done that but but uh, yes so I think that's a wonderful cause and when she told me that it's for a cause and they're going to empower these students I think that's fantastic from modeling to being a Miss India a well-known face on the you know uh, movie circuit and then a totally parallel uh, domain like meditation and yoga is it something like you found your calling finally uh, what is it? I've been practicing yoga and meditation for the last 20 years or uh, maybe more because uh, first of all my father is my guru though he has been a lawyer by profession but he discovered this and he went into this deep practices and he uh, passed it on to me and I loved it so I enjoyed it I relished it so I said you know he said just sit and do this and do that and do your pranayams do your yoga and I started kind of it, it transformed me it transformed me and I started loving that part of you know just being with myself and you know going through those beautiful moments within because we are always seeking things externally yes. we're always thinking that everything outside everything materialistic is what we need actually you need to align your inner self which is the most important because you are living with yourself at the end of the day your journey is alone it's not with anybody else so if you're not aligned in the mind and the body and the spirit which comes through yoga pranayama and meditation if you don't do that then how can you deal with the external world 
and not only that it gives you immaculate health it is a magical journey when you meditate it it uh, transforms you not just physically but mentally emotionally psychologically mm -hmm. and spiritually so what better can you ask for of course and uh, how many years have you been p practicing now it's more, more than 20 years 20 years yeah more and than that yeah do you do you relate to that person before 20 years ago uh, Absolutely, you know. but like you, you grow. Everybody evolves, everybody grows. So there's been a huge growth and mm -hmm. you know, I feel the difference. I, I can't explain it to you, maybe if you can see some difference in me, I don't know. But I do feel that in my energy level, I do feel that in my health, mm -hmm. I do feel that in my physical energies, I do feel that mentally, I do feel that in my deep psyche and I feel so blessed that I have been on this beautiful path and I have learnt and not only blessed because I've learnt it but it's from my father who's my guru I mean what better could I ask for yes nothing better so uh, uh, let's go back to your initial days uh, you you started work really early in yes life, that's right. right you're from a Sindhi family that's right should we say it's a conservative family yeah well my my parents were conservative I mean, they, were, they were pretty broad-minded in fact uh, they didn't mind me modeling in fact they said in fact my parents were the ones who initiated me into modeling it wasn't like I wanted to model so they're like why don't you we, 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 we got I got approached by a lot of people so okay. then that's how the modeling began and uh, they were quite open about me wanting to work or they enjoyed that process they said why not she should be independent and do something so Right. They were very, very welcoming to allowing me to do it. Okay. So I wouldn't say they're very conservative. Actually, my family is not very conservative no. in that sense. Okay. Yeah. So and then that led to you. That uh, led to the movies. Uh, to uh, in the Miss India. Yeah, and you know, then contest. to the movies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, so the journey. So it's, it's a ride. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> journey. <laughs> why? But why? Why you were there? You were. Uh, you had everything on your platter and uh, a few movies I mean they didn't do really well but then you didn't stay and actually continue into that profession because you uh, go through different aspects or you know you go through different phases of your life where you evolve and you like because I started uh, very early I started at the age of 15 16 but that was my first assignment so I did work for many 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 years and uh, at some point you 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 feel okay you want to do something else mm -hmm. and you want to uh, discover yourself from within maybe you know and so you go through this beautiful journey of knowing yourself because most people are so afraid to spend time with themselves I have seen especially the youngsters the youth they don't want to sit alone because they feel then they get paranoid they want to use the phone they want to put on the TV they want to talk to somebody mm -hmm. they, they they are so afraid of just shutting everything and just being which is so important in today's stressful life that everybody is leading there's so much pollution there's so much stress there's so much pressure there are so many desires and wants and they want to achieve so much more so for that to happen it is so important for everybody to just be with themselves which most people don't want to do so I think it's so important that each one does spend that little time or even half an hour alone to maybe just shut your eyes and introspect or just you know discover what is within because everybody is looking externally try and see what's within you and then you will see the magic right right so if you look back in time you know uh, you've been through different phases probably I should say it's, it's like a pendulum of life took you to the peaks of success and then it took you to the abysses of let's say uh, Disappointments. So um, I've had no disappointments. You? Okay, so, so, so tell per you, I'll tell you that uh, I've had no disappointments and no regrets in life. I would say that there are different experiences of life which you go through, which everybody goes through. I don't think there is any person or household which doesn't go through an experience of a different kind. Because we all see uh, pain, we all see suffering, we see death, we see you lose a loved one like I lost my mom so you go through all these experiences and you uplift from that you evolve from it you, it doesn't pull you down so that's what meditation does it uplifts you right yeah. so taking from those experiences you uh, actually are a relationship advisor on your blog you call really? it uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> I, it I didn't know that yeah I didn't know that but <laughs> I just enjoy blogging actually I started this year in Jan which my blog is Bijli Strikes blog and uh, I just thought I should share 
all the experiences because I not only my experiences but also what I see around me with my friends, with people or you know when you go or travel you see ex experiences of different people and you hear from them and you, you realize and you understand things so much more. So I felt I would like to share that with people and you know maybe uh, because I, I find myself uh, in a happy space so I feel that everybody should be in that space irrespective of what is the external factor like I told you so it is very important for people to be happy in a space and not regret or be miserable or sad or depressed because the youngsters are also going they, ha they take a lot of help from psychiatrists because they're so lost and they're so sad so I want to tell them that all you need to do is be by yourself and you'll, you'll just be able to align your life so beautifully right. so I feel that I want to share that with with my readers is what I'm doing mm -hmm. and uh, yes it's been doing well. So uh, through your blog you're able to give a lot of tips to youngsters uh, whether be it you know uh, like I said relationships or say beauty things like that stress busters uh, what are the most prevalent issues that you know the youth are asking you? I feel that a lot of people are heartbroken mm -hmm. there are a lot of re broken relationships and they don't know how to deal with that so I have written that in my blog about love, about friendship, about having girls who have guys as friends that's also a big issue because the families think it's wrong but I, I definitely feel that girls can have guys as friends it's a beautiful relationship to have and also about my girlfriends who are my lifelines and how I cherish and value them I've also written about marriage and how different kinds of marriages exist in our in our society today so I've even spoken about that and uh, I've spoken about uh, yoga and how to stay youthful which she does so, love so, <laughs> so it's the magic because I feel that yoga does uh, yoga and meditation does it, it is they say scientifically they say it's the best anti-aging secret mm -hmm. meditation Yes. So, what is your routine like daily? So, uh, yeah, I wake up in the morning. I sleep for eight hours from whatever time I sleep to whatever time I wake up. So, if I have a late night, so I sleep by 12, I'm up by 8. So, I need my eight hours of sleep. I love my sleep. And um, my mornings are usually, I, I do have a lot of warm water. Mm -hmm. I have like four glasses of, tall glasses of warm water. Okay. So, that flushes the toxins out of your body. And I have fruit, I have some protein mm -hmm. in my diet. I may be having a juice, uh, apple, beetroot, carrot, ABC juice. or so I have coconut water nowadays in the summer. Then I have a lot of uh, bajra and jawari and yes. round rice in my diet. Mm -hmm. I don't eat regular chapati, so, and I don't eat white rice. Mm -hmm. I just eat bajra, jawari, and I love this. I love that village kind of feel, and, and it also is very high in fiber which is very important for us to consume, which most people don't consume. Night meals are usually uh, high in protein and a lot of salads because I do a lot of gym exercises. So in between that, when I wake up in the morning, I go into my yoga, pranayam, meditation. So my meditation takes three hours. At a stretch. At a stretch. And then comes my lunch. And then in the evenings, I have my gym routine for two hours mm -hmm. where I do light weights and cardio. Right, so extensive. Plus yeah. swimming sometimes, so nowadays I've been swimming because it's very hot in Bombay. Mm -hmm. You know, you're here for this uh, walkathon. Now, unless you are yourself practicing or you believe in something, you cannot really, you know, advise someone on it. Absolutely. Right? You have so, to walk the talk. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what are you expecting from tomorrow's, uh, I mean, from the walkathon tomorrow? There are a lot of supporters already and I think it is fantastic because Mimi was telling me that the response is amazing and that's why you're also here. So it is, it is a wonderful uh, cause for which we are here. I think it is fantastic to be able to educate the children and uh, to empower them which is so important in today's day. So in that charitable trust she's, she's getting the two students and empowering them. So I think this is the most wonderful thing you can ever do. And there'll be a lot of people coming in, there are a lot of children coming in to support and there'll be a lot of people. So I um, hope you are coming too and I hope you guys are coming too. It'll be wonderful to just have a beautiful walk. And Bangalore is such a wonderful city. I really love this city and I'm deeply attached to it in many ways. 
so and a garden city so the walk should be beautiful all right great great to hear that hope to see you there as well uh, so what is your tip for our viewers on uh, how to stay youthful how to stay happy yoga pranayama meditation and other forms of exercise also because if you don't align your inner you can't deal with your outside so if even if you can give 20 minutes to 30 minutes every day for just yourself i think it will do magic to you because i have experienced that magic and i want you guys to experience it too so sangeeta if at all you come across a role like you know uh, suchitra sen's role in mamta the movie uh, would you be open to uh, an idea like that in fact i think that is one of the most fantastic roles if i ever get something like this i would love to do it but as such i have not i've read a, i've read a couple of scripts uh, i have been approached by filmmakers but it has not appealed to my sensibilities I, mean, I feel that maybe i don't see myself doing that kind of a role so i've not done it so far but it's not like i'm shut to the idea of working i'm very open and i'm okay to flow with life and whatever comes so if something like this comes definitely it's a fantastic role it's a role of a lifetime we hope to see you soon on uh, the movie circuits uh, but then in hollywood uh, what kind of roles actually caught your attention uh, this Any uh, movie called tomb raider mm -hmm. it's fantastic you know we should do films like this in india we don't we don't have those kind of films action oriented or even gravity with sandra bullock that was amazing so when when you when you when you look a little fitter and you can you know perform and look the way you do then why not do something like this but then india i don't know if india is ready indian cinema is ready for something like this but i think india is venturing into experimenting a lot of different kinds of movies and you see that happening in fact i feel that now is the best time for the indian film industry so i'm sure they'll come out with something wonderful who knows Right. Uh, let's hope uh, you actually uh, are offered a role like that very soon. <laughs> Why not? Uh, so, of the lot uh, in the movie industry just now, who do you think is really talented and is going to get there? I like Alia Bhatt. You do? Yeah, I really like her bubbly and mm -hmm. uh, uh, she's, she's also very deep in her performances. Yes. So, I really like her. All right. Fantastic. Um, Sangeeta, um, how were you as a child? What are your memories uh, of childhood? Very naughty. Even naughty. Very, very naughty. Extremely naughty. I used to play with all the boys and I used to bully them. <laughs> you mean you were a tomboy? Complete tomboy. In fact, uh, I was such a tomboy that my father felt at some point in my school that, oh my God, she's walking like a boy, she's dressing like a boy. So I have to make her look like a girl now. What do we do? So my mom said, let's put her into dance. And they actually put me into dance. They, they sent me for Kathak classes because uh, they felt I needed some grace, a little nazaka, a little, you know, girly kind of a stuff. So uh, I started training for Kathak. Of course, it later on helped me for my modeling. It helped me for my movies. So I think that was fantastic. So they wanted to transform me into a girl. Okay, so a tomboy <laughs> Which it actually uh, went on to win a crown. Yeah, can you <laughs> believe that? that crown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what are your fondest memories of your you know growing up years I mean I'm sure you have before you started working things like that so so there was one very beautiful moment where I was going in the bus with my mom when I was in school mm -hmm. and uh, I used to love getting off a moving bus or a moving train so I used to go with my mom and like I was in school I was a teenager at that time like I was 12 or 13 and somebody saw me get off a moving bus and mm -hmm. there was some man driving behind in the car of the bus. So as soon as I got off with my mom, because I got off before the rest of them, because obviously it was still moving, it had not reached the bus stop. And the, the car came and screeched behind and then this man quickly got out of the car and he came and approached my mom and he says, I want to sign your daughter for a film. I just saw her getting out of a oh. car bus. <laughs> so my mom said, no, no way, she's very little. She's not going to do anything now, she's just 13. So just let her finish her studies. Wonderful. I mean, I, that's actually adventurous. Yeah, yeah, you have an adventu so, so that, adventurous that's side to you. Yeah, that's how okay. naughty I yeah, am. Yeah. All right. A college. Uh, did you get to complete your college? Yes, um, I got to complete my college. And by, by the college, I was, I was I, I started entering beauty pageants. So I entered in school. I was my college uh, school queen. Then I became my college queen. Mm -hmm. And then I went on to enter a lot of little, little beauty ca uh, pageants before I became Miss India. Mm -hmm. So that's how the transformation occurred gradually and then from that I was 
into modeling and movies because I just about uh, I think I just about started modeling yeah at that time right uh, but then you had the privilege of working with some of the biggest stars yes, be it Vinod right. Khanna ji yes. or Dharmendra so who was your favorite I mean uh, some memories with your co-stars I'm sure I did a lot of films with Jackie I did a lot of films with Mithunda I did a lot of films with Sunny and Sanju mm -hmm. Sanjay Dutt so yeah these were all uh, very tall good looking men they you know like rugged macho kind of men so right. it was really so, Vinod ji of course so it was it was a wonderful experience any naughty 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 things that you did i mean uh, i didn't do this they used to all do it and i used to watch and i'm not going to tell you that <laughs> okay great so there you go that was sangeeta bijnani with us today on celeb talk it was great to have you on thank the show you. sangeeta thank you, so thank you for much. taking time out it was a though. pleasure pleasure to be here uh, the pleasure is all ours um, we wish you all the best for the future onwards that you have and for tomorrow's walk ahead and i wish this channel all the best and i hope it peaks and a lot of success to all of you thank you and uh, thank you very much for being here pleasure thank you for watching the show we'll see you next time with another brand new episode of celeb talk this is arfa siddiqui signing off bye bye